Usually, we get the data from our database and display it on the screen. Let's see how we can do the same uh, from using an API instead. So here I have an API, that API which returns me a list of warehouses. These are the parameters and this is the URL. What I will do is copy this URL and open my service studio. This is where I have a reactive web application. I'll quickly add a screen to it. I'm okay with the defaults. Maybe perhaps let's give it a title. So we are going to display the list of warehouses. Now, if I right click on the screen, I have few options here. Uh, one is the standard fetching data from database and the other one is fetch data from other sources. Now this is what we're going to use. So let me just have it here. Now in this uh, data action, we have a parameter which is the output. This is what we can use for displaying the output on the screen. Now as of now, we don't have the API yet to call it. So what we'll do is in the logic, that's where we have these connectors. Since in my case it's a REST API, first of all, let's consume that. So, so I get definition so I can just paste the URL and add the methods. Uh, platform is smart enough to read the documentation and give me a visual function. So if you uh, see it now, there's a warehouse namespace and it has a, a method for returning the list of warehouses. Now what I want to do is uh, copy this uh, response here. That's a shortcut. And I can replace the output variable here in data action. Basically what I'm trying to do is delete this and paste the other one that I copied from there. Uh, now the goal was simple just to have the same structure. I could have done the same by just changing the data type of that particular out parameter. Once I have the same structure, what I can do is call the API just by dragging and dropping this. And then in the next step, I can assign the output of this API to my screen variable response. Now both will have the same name because I didn't change it. So this response on the screen will have the output from the API here. Now if I go back, my response variable here has all the output I need for displaying. So what is left for me to do is just drag and drop it here. And I have it in case there's anything else that is important for me to display. I can also display that by adding a column, perhaps something like this. Uh, this could be a phone number. And inside this phone number, what I will display is the phone number. Likewise, you can display any other field that you like. In case there's something you don't like, you can remove it. But in the end, the same usual procedure of publishing the application. And uh, then testing it out. I hope it works. There you go. And I get the data from the API. Thanks.